We have just arrived to McDonald's. And, Katie, what are you getting? Uh, vanilla iced coffee. And I think I'm gonna get a frappe. So we're starting our day off pretty dang good. Currently been walking the oh, whole way down the mall. Line is packed. So we will update as we go. So the line extends the whole way up the mall and goes back here and there's still people pouring in. So I guess there was a fight in the line and now they have a lady on a stretcher. So let the fun begin. Okay, so I guess she was in a fight. I guess she was pregnant and I'm assuming she went into labor because they took her out and she was clutching her stomach. Okay, so I just got home from going to the mall to make a Build-A-Bear for the Pay Your Age. And we got there, went down and followed the line. And the line started dipping through the chairs at the end. And the security guards that were down there moved us to the wall. And then it was about a half hour later the one woman came back who wasn't even with her kids and tried to say oh well those people that are in front of you were in front of us so you cut in line i'm like i didn't cut in line this is where the guard put me but you can go ahead go in front well then the person behind them said oh well we were behind them so and then cut in front of us and i'm like oh my god this is crazy it's just to make a bear well things were going good and all the kids were playing and it went really well, but it took a long time. We were there in line for ten and a half hours. Yeah, you heard me right. Ten and a half hours just to make a Pikachu Build-A-Bear. I mean, it was a fun day where the kids got to play and we got like a $28 Build-A-Bear for like a dollar since my daughter's one. But it was crazy. A kid was climbing on one of the empty kiosks and broke the glass and the wood from climbing near the top and fell down and had a bloody nose and mouth and the mother didn't even realize the kid was hurt until after other people started surrounding him. But, oh my goodness, there was a lot of people and they cut the line off around 11 so around lunchtime, they cut the line off because it was already wrapped around the other side of the building. And they started coming down, like, warning us that there may not be the selection you want or we might have to send you home without stuffing your bear. But luckily, we made it to the part where we could still stuff the bear. It just took a super long time. I mean, they did offer coupons for $15 off your next purchase if you didn't want to wait. But it was a lot bigger than they had expected. They said that our location was one of the only Build-A-Bears left in the United States that stayed open. Besides one in, like, I think she said, like, South Dakota or something like that. But, oh my gosh, it was hectic. I'm glad she has it, though. It's been a heck of a day. Stay tuned because we will be vlogging some adventures coming up. Uh, we're going to Hershey Park. We're going to Warp Tour on the 29th of this month. And we are possibly, and I think for sure that we're going to go maybe to Centralia or the abandoned Pennsylvania Turnpike. So stay tuned and we will be vlogging soon. Bye!